Hey! What's up, Improvement Warriors? Jason Young back with you again for another... Well, we're doing something different now. This is going to be a regular thing where I'm taking you through mobilizations, but I wanted to announce my workout retirement as well because the new Fit Ranks, Fit Ranks 3.0, the levels were just announced. And if you're not familiar with Fit Ranks, what it basically is is if you think about how the martial arts have their belt system, so white to black, Fit Ranks is basically a belt system for strength and conditioning. And when you come into our program, we try to get you to a white belt as soon as possible and then progress you up to a black belt. And I saw the test. There's a lot of jumping on there. And so I'm going to have to retire from that and or semi-retire until I can get my issue fixed. The other form of exercise I'm going to have to be re retiring from is sprinting and also Olympic lifting. So three of my favorite forms of training are gone. And I haven't been able to sprint for about six months now. So I've had, for about a year, I've had plantar fasciitis, which is pain in the plantar area. Hurts to walk, but I had uh, remedied it a little bit, so I was able to do fit ranks and some other things, but eventually it just got worse and worse, and um, the jump rope is what really, really got me. So there's a lot of jump rope in the new edition of fit ranks, and I cannot do that. And I did a little bit jumping yesterday in yesterday's workout. What's up, Ashley? And my foot hurts now. So it's plantar fasciitis, and basically I'm going to show you some techniques to take care of your foot. And this is for specifically plantar fasciitis, but it will also take care of some foot issues because everybody should be taking care of their feet because we, when we walk and when we stand, we're supporting our whole body weight on our foot. And most people are wearing shoes pretty much all day long, and our toes were not meant to be stuffed together like that all day. How productive would you be if you had something like that on your hand all day long? Not very. So the feet were made to wiggle and move and go all over the place, okay? Which is why you'll find me barefoot the majority of time when I'm indoors. But the tools of the trade that you're going to need, and everybody should have these for just basic mobilizations, basic taking care of your body. So if you get oil changes for your car, these tools are very necessary for oil changes on you, so to speak. So I've got a double lacrosse ball here. We call it a peanut. And it's basically two lacrosse balls duct taped together. You can go to Play It Again Sports, get a two lacrosse balls for a dollar each, and then just duct tape it together. Then I have a PVC pipe. Okay, just go Lowe's, like five bucks. You can also use a foam roller as well. These are the tools I'll be using today. So the first mobilization I'll show you real quickly. It's just a foot smash. So you basically take your toes, put it at the forefoot or the balls of your feet on that big meaty part right below your toes. And then you're basically going to smash. Now you're trying to lift your toes up. That way we open up the skin, open up the tissue so we can get in there. And then you're just rocking back and forth, rocking back and forth, putting as much weight as you can there. If you don't feel any pain, then it's okay. You can move up just a little bit. And then you just do the same thing. And then you're just going up and down all the way to the bottom of the toe. Okay. Now, when you're doing this, your toes will naturally want to curl and you want to avoid that and put it up. Okay. And then you go all the way down, all the way to the heel. So that's the first one. And you want to spend at least two minutes going up and down trying to find the trigger points because if you have trigger points in there then that's going to cause issues with your walking gait and all that stuff so that's that the other thing our next one is a tibialis anterior stretch so the beginner version of this you're just going to take your toes place them flat on the floor and then just stretch and just try and come down as far as you can 
Okay, so you should feel a big stretch down here, stretching your toes, and you want to do this about two minutes, so one to two minutes each side. If you don't have particular, if you don't particularly have plantar fasciitis, if you just want to take care of your feet, I would do this one to two minutes on each side. Okay. Then the other one is going to be, or I'm sorry, the more advanced version of that, you come down here, and then you're just trying to pick yourself up. Okay, so this is a lot better because you can get both of them in the same one or at the same time. And you're just trying to pick yourself up. You'll feel a big stretch in your shin, tibialis, and then trying to go up as high as you can. So this one I can't really do too well because I can't get too high. I need support here, but that's okay. And you can also just take your knee and do one at a time and pull it up like that. What's up, Randy? Okay. Then you have another one, which is the peanut shin bone smash. Now this one I either do with a single lacrosse ball or a regular, or a peanut. What's up, Wendell? So with this, you're just going to take the ball, make sure it's not on the shin bone, make sure it's on the tibialis, so that big part where you get uh, shin splints occasionally. This will really help with shin splints as well. And then you put as much weight as you can into the ball. You can shimmy, shimmy back and forth. You find an area more tight, you stay there and just breathe as deeply as you can. Because when you're doing these mobilizations, if you're not breathing, then that's going to be an issue and your muscles are going to tense up and then it won't work. Ow. Found an area right there. What's up, Joe? Okay, just back and forth, back and forth, smashing that area. You go all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. For me, it's really tight down there, closer to the ankle. But that's where I usually have my issues. So usually if you have pain in a certain area, it's not the area that's in pain. It's usually something above it or something below it. So a lot of people have knee pain. 95% of the time, it's not going to be knee pain. It'll be something with the calf or something with the ankle or something with the quad or the hip or the hamstring. Very rarely is it the knee. So. Those are the mobilizations I've been doing for that. Um, another thing that I do for the plantar fasciitis is I cut a lacrosse ball in half. And this, it, the way I did it was very dangerous. I took a knife and basically sawed it like that. But use a power tool or something like that. So basically I'll just there, and I'll be standing on this throughout the day, which really helps the plantar fasciitis. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Give me some thumbs up, hearts if you want. And I'll be back next Friday with some more mobilizations to help keep you limber, safe, and feeling young. Ain't that right, Lucy? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. All right. You stay strong, stay positive, be the improvement warrior.